All right, so we're gonna go ahead and now that we have our character, let's go ahead and do um, a name and extrude a curve. So the next tool we're gonna learn about is extrude. So I don't want anybody working with me. I want you to leave your mouse and just watch. Um, and uh, I'll do it again so you guys can take notes. And then I want you guys to actually do it in class if you have any questions. So um, we want to go ahead and use uh, the extrude tool. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and need is a curve. So we can use any curves. If you look under the curve options, uh, for now, instead of using any of these curves to extrude, we're going to go ahead and just use the basic text. OK, let's just give it a name. So we're going to go under the text curve. And we're going to go ahead and rotate that towards Z. For some reason, it was the opposite way. And you could go ahead and say minus 180, minus 180 to make sure that it's proper. I'm going to go ahead and move it to the side a little bit. And anytime you want to uh, manipulate uh, an object, you could just click on it. And then it goes into the name. You guys see where it says name right here? Text. And I can go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see. Name, text. So I'm going to go ahead and change the name. And I'm going to call it, give it your name bot, whatever. I'm going to call it MoBot. OK. And I'm, the moment I hit Enter, if you go back, you see how the text object name. And guess what? It changes into. It, it didn't change the MoBot. What happened? OK. So I need to go to Object. Ah, here it is. OK, sorry. Not name under Object. So you got to click on Object. Again, I'm going to zoom in. So it was under Basic. So what is it? I'm going to go under object and then go ahead and change the text to MoBot. Now if you hit enter and you actually zoom out, no way. Okay, something's wrong. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, I had to click on that little window. All right, so it works. Okay, so anything you change here, um, yay. I got to click on that window in order to see it update. But anyway. Mo, mo bot. Okay. Mo bit. Mo bot. Okay. So now as soon as I click on that, you'll see it update. And now it's just a basic curve. So if I check it out, it's just a curve. There's no depth to it. It won't even render. So when I render, there's nothing there. You guys see that? Nothing there. Why? Because it's curves. Curves don't render. Curves, joints, um, uh, handles, all these things don't render. So they need to have a geometry, they need to have a surface. So today we're going to learn about extrude. Extrude is very, very simple. OK, so now we know object mode. Uh, we know the different types of objects. We know the different types of curves. One of them is text. Now next to it right there is all these really cool items. I don't want you to mess around too much with them and go ahead. But I just want to talk about first the extrude icon. So all you have to do is just select it. Make sure that the text is selected. Actually, it doesn't matter because either way is not going to extrude it right away. So you're going to click on it, and you're going to say, I want to extrude NURBS, right? Mm -hmm. So when you extrude, guess what happens? Nothing happens, right? Why nothing happens? Because it just gives it to you as an option in your hierarchy. OK? It just gives it to you as an option. So all you have to do now is you have your MOBOT in the hierarchy, and that's why hierarchy and understanding hierarchy is important. Because you don't want this to look messy. The moment this stuff looks messy or you get confused, you're going to confuse all of us. So that's why ahead of time, make sure that your hierarchy looks clean and it's not overly complicated. Now, we have MOBOT right here. We have our extrude option right here. Watch what happens. If we want the MOBOT to actually extrude, it has to be a child of a parent. And the parent needs to say, hey, I'm your parent. I'm extrude. Please follow me. So watch this. If I select my MOBOT, and I move it up to extrude, parent it. Watch what happens. Yay. Right? So now I got a 3D character font. OK, now you can control, of course, the density of the extrude. You can have it subdivide more. You can give it, let me just go here, move that so you guys can see. So you can move that out. Move it. So you can actually have a camera that zooms in or zooms out of this if you want to. like. So you know how they do all these commercials like Mobot. Now coming to theaters next year, right? So <laughs> you can control any of the di uh, diameters of the object or the extrude. 
And I made it kind of like creepy long, but you can just, I just wanted to show you that you can mess around with it and have it as long as you want. And guess what? That actually renders now. So if I go ahead and I render my Mobot, it gives you a nice kind of thing. Mobot, and then you can choose different fonts, of course, for the curves. You can choose anything else. If I choose anything else, like text, again, or star, or any of these items, I can go ahead and move that star. I don't want it to happen on top of, well, maybe I do want it to. Let's see what happens if I move this. And I want to extrude that as well. For some reason, maybe on top of my name here to the side. Okay, and I want to extrude that. If you want to extrude that with the exact same length, everything to follow that, what do I have to do? Just parent it. So put that on top, boom. Now I got that going. And for some reason, it took my bow out away. Huh. Oh, yes. So let me just. I thought you could do more than one item. So let's go ahead and do another extrude. Extrude. I'm going to take the star to the extrude. There it is. So there I can have two or three. And then, yes, you can definitely texture map it. Um, so anything you want to texture map it as, you can. So let's go ahead and make that red and make that brown. And then render this with Mobot. And then boom. So there you go. So that's the extrude tool. Okay, I'll do it again for you guys to take notes.